What's up guys? Today we're going to be using what may be the most bannable team of all time. Um, it's set up and go, screens and go. Um, I've been playing a lot with it. I have not been using it optimally. Um, shout outs to Maverick for passing it. But I knew I wouldn't be using it optimally because I just don't know what to expect. So I've been playing a lot of games, learning the matchup patterns. And that's all Pokemon is. When we say gather knowledge as far as actual battle goes, what you're doing is you're observing how Pokemon interact when they're matched up versus other Pokemon. So for example, let's say I led with Grimmsnarl here and he led with the the Steel thing. This is actually an interaction that happened before. So from the previous interaction, I realized, oh, Grimmsnarl is actually a horrible matchup and my team struggles with that. And so in order to adapt for a future situation, I would not lead Grimmsnarl versus the the pawn thing um, and instead I'm going to be starting with my Volcarona so see so that's something we're talking about so the matchup pattern I learned from the past is like this versus Grimmsnarl is bad for me therefore don't do that um, now I don't think he realized this matchup pattern and uh, he's very weak to this so meaning Volcarona fire types on lead is a horrible situation for him so we're going to just fire blast. I mean, I could suck. He could sucker punch. He won't knock me out. Uh, but him going for something that's not sucker punch as I like quiver dance is really bad. And me quiver dancing. Oh, wow. I actually did. I've seen this before as well. So he got rid of my Volcarona by. And this is something you're just going to have to learn to deal with. Um, these random. Um, it's not random, but you don't. You, I mean, you can't. Exp how do you predict something like that? Right. Uh, so you can never know what the opponent is going to go for. Um, and so Annihilate. He's going to fear bulk up. Bulk up's too problematic. Uh, so Rocky Helmet. Very interesting for a couple of reasons. Um, but we're going to just opt for Grim Snarl here. He U-turned on a Annihilate. I don't think this guy knows what Annihilate does. Uh, that was a very, very interesting interaction just now. So now we can just go for Reflect. We have nothing to fear because Dragonite, it doesn't matter if he Swords Dances, Dragonite can come in um, and destroy him. Uh, we could actually just Annihilate and destroy him as well. I don't want to take the Sucker Punch though. Uh, so instead of wasting, because Dragonite is really good versus his team as well. Uh, so actually Extreme Speed might not kill him. If I Dragon Dance first, do I sweep him? The Great Tusk is a, a tricky mine. Because Earthquake in here would be a waste of a turn. But I think plus one Dragon Dance plus... Plus one Dragon Dance plus... Extreme speed should kill this. I mean, I'd be very surprised if it didn't. But let's look. Let's assume that doesn't work out. What's next? Let's say we earthquake here. I can't sweep him with the this quite yet because he has the golden nago thing. Um, so to earthquake and potentially take us. I'm gonna dragon dance. Um, yeah, now I'll extreme speed. <clears throat> I doubt he'd ever not sucker punch. Yeah, I knock him out. Okay, so this is actually a really good situation. Um, he asked for Corbin. I, I do have the terrestrialized fire. I'm not gonna go for it because the um, well, fire punch won't kill, but he can't do shit there. Okay, defog. Okay, never mind. Forgot about that. That's a problem. Um, now he gets to go to the Gallade. Yeah, Defog is something I forgot about. And this thing's Protosynthesis. Protosynthesis. Oh, unless this shit has Ice Shard, right? Um, I have the Annihilate Water, which could go crazy. I think it will go crazy. Uh, I just needed screens. Your boy needed them screens, too. 
gonna earthquake here. Close combat, he scarfed. It's actually really good for us that he showed us that he was scarfed. We could go to es Esparta. We calm mind. He'd go to the golden thing. It would depend on whether the golden thing is choice or not. Um, because we go to it, he try to shadow ball as we change types. And if he's choice, then we have the upper hand. If he's not choice, then he can switch up moves and go for the steel thing. And alternatively, we could go to annihilate here, bulk up. I'll have to take a sh potential shadow ball though and knock him out and then I'm a water type and then he can go to the Gallade and probably kill me. Mm. Which has the better chance of sweeping? Which has the better chance of sweeping? Uh, Swipe screens are so important. I don't think Annihilate can sweep by itself. Cause I'd have to take too many hits. I think I have to go with this. Because I have to pick one of them to terrestrialize, obviously. And so we're going to combine here as a psychic type. Um, and depending on who he goes, if he goes to the fish first, that's excellent. Because now I know he's going to dark pulse. We can terrestrialize combine. Yeah, excellent. Which wastes a turn. Come on, man! Fucking all fucking day. But that was game just now. Now it's not over yet. Like it's not meaning like we haven't lost, but that was game just now. Ah, uh, fuck, bro. So I need to store power or because the fucking golden shit, I'm at plus two, I can't take on the golden shit. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, he stays in. God bless. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, all right. I was about to fucking, man. After all the fucking heart, we had to really think that through and go, okay, which one? Would lure in because we went annihilate now he goes to but we're at plus five million and so the steel thing is just not strong enough and I might sword power one shot him at this point anyways 240 uh, we have 579 yeah let's go let's go bird fucking road runner out here man the fucking road runner call me road man I'm gonna rename this shit right the fuck now Roadrunner. That, that's literally what they based this off of. There's no way. There's no way. Road runner. Anytime you see it, guys. <laughs> anytime, anytime you see it, bro. Just know the road runner is coming, man. Beep motherfucking beep. That was satisfying. Primarily because he crit me there. Cause I'm like, bruh, after all the dumb bullshit we just went through to get to that point, he didn't crit me, man. I know that mouse thing does. I mean, I don't know what. Okay, so I'm getting a vague idea of what Salazar does for the most part. Some Dragonite, uh, the Steel Rast Rasta, uh, Delibird. So this isn't as familiar, unfamiliar. Now, what we're going, we like what they do, uh, is the first stage. What is it? What is its type? Um, and what is its what are its common moves? That's the first phase of knowledge. The next phase is what can it do to me, right? What does it do? Uh, actually, no. The first phase is what is it. The second phase is what does it do. And then the third, the next phase is what does it can it do to me? Is it an obstacle or an opportunity uh, for victory? So, Volcarona behind the sub is really good. <clears throat> Just have to get past that Dragonite. Um, Annihilate is good. Roadrunner is good. Everybody loves this damn thing, man. Gee, 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 shish. Uh, Dragonite on lead would be horrendous, but I have a whole Grim Snarl, so I actually don't know why I didn't expect. This is not a good lead for him <clears throat> if I Grim Snarled. So, I'm, so I guess why I didn't con con consider Iron Bundle, but I'm very weak to Iron Bundle, so that's an irrelevant thing to, to consider, really. 
I could quiver dance and obviously just give you during the next turn, but that would be, I think, a waste of a terror type. Though, I mean, I don't need to change my terror type in for Roadrunner in this particular situation. Uh, Annihilate, do I need to change it? I might for Golden Negro or whatever that shit is called, but probably not. Um, Golden Negro. <laughs> It's okay, guys. I'm black. I can say that. Uh, <laughs> He's racist. He's racist, I tell you. Oh, shit. Let's <laughs> call this shit Cold the Negro. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Oh, shit. That was funny. Um, what the fuck is its name? Terra Blast Fairy, huh? Is that okay? So he uses Terra Blast. So now I can parting shot on him. Terra Blast Fairy. Mm. Selazar can't set up reflect. It's just a matter of who who to go to, you know. Um, I could reflect, and then what? Annihilate. Annihilate is not a good matchup for this stuff versus this. It might be too early to do my road runner stuff. Not without a sub. It's actually a huge fucking issue, man. Jeez, what the hell? What the hell is this? So I'm actually not gonna give up Grim Snarl yet. It's not time. <clears throat> it's not time. I'll use Road Runner defensively because it has a it has roost. So and leftovers. Um <clears throat> so it's not the end of the world. I don't think this has parting shot. I mean, uh, flip turn. Uh, so Roadrunner. I doubt it. Either way, it's Roadrunner guards against his neutral versus everything. So obviously Roadrunner could set up here. Um, without the reflect, it's not as reliable. To expect from this, I'm gonna pivot to Salazar. Okay, he does go to this. I wanted him to go to this because I wanted him to. One, we're gonna knock off first. Actually, it doesn't matter to knock this thing off. It does for my Roadrunner. If I shed tail and get a Vulcan, Because what I think he'll do is try to shadow ball. Because we've seen, have you seen somebody do that? Because uh, shed, the shed tail is obvious, so you wouldn't go for the, the, um, so you're gonna knock first. I don't think he's even gonna leave this. No, he has to leave this in and go for the steel move. Shadow ball, yep, there we go. And now we shed tail into Volk. That's what I'm, that makes sense though, because I was I was thinking about it. I was like, well, you see Salah, Salah, whatever. So you expect Shed Tail immediately. Um, so he Shadow Balls again. My sausage actually took the damage. Man, Volker on your monstrosity. I missed the Fire Blast. I, I experienced this exact sequence before, and I missed the Fire Blast. But it was a and the team was way weaker to Volk. <clears throat> now. The Dragonite is... I don't know why he went to this. Uh, I can think of some reasons, actually. Because uh, I'm forced to Bug Buzz, which... Well, my sub is up, too. Okay, he quiver. He predict. That's just actually best-case scenario. He taunted. I'm glad that I bug buzzed there. The reason I bug buzzed that if I quiver dance, it was a waste of potential. If he shed tailed in the Dragonite, because I wouldn't have taken much damage. I wouldn't have. Oh, he actually still tried to shed tail, so still learning the mechanics of that. Maybe he thought it was like a substitute. Uh, how fast is this? This shit is fast as balls. Uh, we're going to go hard and annihilate. But I think this learned some normal move. Population bomb. I don't even know what the fuck it just tried to do to me, but I didn't allow it to do it. That's what matters. So we bulk up here uh, as Ditto comes in. This is a really good situation for me uh, because I get to Rage Fist straight up. What's Terrestrialize here? Do I win if I do? If he leaves the Ditto in, 
His Rage Fist isn't gonna do shit to me. And it'll just boost mine. So. But is there any downsides into Water Rising here? No. I don't know if Ditto copies the. So he Rage Fist, but again, mine's gonna one and just kill him. Cause he came in after I boosted. Yeah, yeah. Annihilate, bro. Annihilate, bro. <laughs> that guy. He's that guy. He's that guy. You know what I'm saying? Now he can go for the shit, but I drain punch you. No way that kills me. Seven. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, what the fuck? What's happening right now? What the fuck just happened? That shit hit a hundred times. Oh, no wonder that shit is busted. Uh, now everything is neutral, so we just... I was gonna say Drain Punch, but that's actually... My Rage Fist... Oh, he fucking freeze dry, bro. And I'm so fucking weak to this thing. I think Roadrunner goes through now, though. Um, I'm debating whether I should go for him snot first. And... Um, The Dragonite is still an issue. But I have mine. So I could go Roadrunner here and Calm Mind. I could go Grimmsnarl and Light Screen. Let him kill me, then go Roadrunner, Calm Mind. I could go Grimmsnarl, Reflect, then go Roadrunner, Calm Mind. Mm. I'll go Grimmsnarl first. Don't think he, he can Terra Blast kill me. I'm going to... Parting Shots. Give up Celazar because we don't need it. Um, now we get to U-turn. Even if he Ice Beams. One, I don't think I'd die. But, um... <clears throat> he's locked into Parting Shot. I mean, he's dropped with the Parting Shot, which is good, right? And so I get to break his multi skill if he decided to go the Dragonite route. Um... The Dragonite, as I said, is a big issue. So, VDD. He Terra typed Terras. Oh, what the fuck? He's leftovers. Oh, this isn't good. He's leftovers. Shit. That's like the worst possible situation for us. Him being leftovers. Leftovers, what the fuck? Let's see how much I got. Let's dig that. <clears throat> Ice Spinner? Oh my god. Why did I gotta run into one goon bag? <laughs> like. Who the fuck does shit like this? Does he have fixed stream speed? He does shit. You run into the one fucking goon bag with extreme speed ice spinner. Like, come on, bro. And my Terra type is not. Fuck. What the fuck, bro? I think I might be fat now. He's definitely jolly. Uh. We, there's one chance he's gonna have to hit my Volk twice, which means that I can um, potentially burn him. No, he doesn't have to hit Volk twice. He, can, he only needs to hit it once. Little bug buzz. Like, I don't know, maybe you fear a terror type or something. Uh, don't think extreme speed can kill me. Earthquake. He's smart to, to go for it like that. I should live any hit and get the speed boost. The problem is that he's still faster than me with his Deli Bird. Man, I, I so with the big mistake I made, I didn't pay attention. I didn't pay attention to having extreme speed, which is end up going to matter now. Because if I had my Grim Snarl, I could Parting Shot cycle. So him, uh, yeah, the Ice Spinner, leftovers Dragonite. I mean, this is one where. Technically still in the lower line. I think this classifies uh, Even though it's a new metagame uh, man. I got a roost and hope that it doesn't do enough Okay, so we get a speed boost here. Okay, so there's hope now uh, He's still naturally faster and hopefully he boosts here yeah, He tries to boost now we gotta like 
Now we gotta hope that the fucking deli bird misses this, this ice beam or something. I don't fucking know. I miss ice beam. He freeze dried though. Ah, uh, we gotta hope he misses Hydra eventually. Okay. So we can get one combine off. Terra Blast is doing 50. I need him to miss something. Okay. Wait, why did that do 53? Okay, so roll. Alright, please, bird. Okay, 42. Even with the roll, I should be able to. Yes, okay. Okay. Roadrunner, let's go, let's go, Runner. Roadrunner, pull this off. Roadrunner. Yeah, I'm not even going to talk about the possibility of the thing we don't want to speak about. You know what I'm talking about. Roadrunner is going to pull through, though. Roadrunner is going to pull through, though. 38%. Yeah, that's close. Like, I don't. He could hydro pump here and kill me. I only. Oh, yeah. Roost is low HP now. If he hydros here. Let me think. Ter ter uh, do I calm mine? If I calm mine again and then roost, I might be able to just one shot him. I might be able to one shot him now. Probably one shot him now. If I combine again here, I guarantee to live. Yeah, I think combine again here is a play. Whew, though it does risk the you know what. There's just no way in hell this shit is taking a fucking storm. I was thinking, I'm like, is there some. <laughs> There's no way in hell. Okay, that was clean. Road motherfucking runner. Game match set. That's the second game in a row. And it's dope how he's just like chilling, eyes closed. <laughs> yeah, you think you won the game, but I'm finna run up on you. You have no idea. That Dragonite was weird, man. Because it can't touch Corviknight. I don't know if, uh, I don't know what Ice Spinner does. Or maybe it just covers for other Dragonite. But yeah, I'm not using the team ideally. Because Annihilate is way better than I'm using it as, as well as Volcarona, as well as Dragonite. But, um, yeah, let's keep learning the interactions because we're starting to adapt, seeing what we're weak to. So we I've learned that in previous interactions, Grimstall does not enjoy being in versus these two. And I'm very weak to those two because I can't parting shot on them. So because they have high speed and whatnot, um, it's actually better to have Annihilate even if it goes for uh, Grimora, Grimora, this thing is, I guess they run max speed. Mortal Spin is a bitch. I'm surprised he started with this because I could have Celazard him from jump. Could have Grimstarled him from jump too. Uh, Mortal Spin. Uh, don't have a Steel type. I have nothing to block that question is am I willing I mean I can't stop the T-Spikes anyway so I'm not even gonna waste the time um, yeah I'm gonna let him pick between some bulk up because if this gets too much out of hand he also loses I guess I don't know I, I don't regret my lead because the worst case would certainly have been one of these two beasts. I just didn't want to get poisoned. And like, okay, I'm going to have to get poisoned. So be it. And he's going to get T-Spikes up because he's sashed. And that's going to give him T-Spikes. But do I need plus two? I'm not taking any physical hits like that. I guess I want the attack. Earth power. Um, obviously, Rage Fist um, gets boosted every time he attacks me. So we Drain Punch here, Mortal Spin. I figured this was coming, and then he gets the T-Spike up. Um, there's no way he'd ever switch this out. This That would be insanely stupid if you switch to Dragapult here. Um, I know he's going to Earth Power, so I want to get as much health as I possibly can. Yeah, okay. Cause I was like, there's just no way you go for fucking earth power there. So my rage fist is unbeatable right now. Like unbeatable. 
So the question is, because I, I gotta, he's gonna go to one of his dragons or ghosts, right? And then uh, attempt to knock me out. And then I terrestrialize. Yeah, I'll just use my, because I don't, mm, Volk wins though. No, it does I need this dead, because this thing learned Sucker Punch. But Volt beats everything else. But if I don't terrestrialize here, I'm dead. So yeah, we're gonna have to just, oh man, I didn't need to terrestrialize, no, because he's physical, shit, yeah, I would have lived that, if I knew it was physical, I wouldn't have terrestrialized, because I wanted to keep the one terrestrialized so that I can't get jet punched, so now he goes to Mian Shower, or whatever the fuck this shit is, I don't think he can even kill me too, if he told, I don't think I died of a crunch, plus two, this thing is pretty strong though. Life Ward plus the... But this thing gets Sacred Sword. But I don't think anybody would. Doesn't it get CC as well? Psychic Fangs. Oh, that's all my health back. That's all of it. That's all of it. I knew he'd forfeit there. He didn't lose. Unless the... He, would, he lost if this was slower than this. So if it was a very bulky variant of the golden thing. So as you can see, the Annihilate Bleed, I don't think I played it as excellently as it could have been played. But as I mentioned before, had he started with the Ice Dog, the Ice Mian Chao, or the, um, or the Golden um, Gold Dango. Let me just try saying it right. Gold Dango. Um, <laughs> how do you guys watch <laughs> Oh shit, I love you all. Oh fuck. Yo, I don't know how y'all do it, man. But I appreciate you guys for it. I can't stand this dirty ass fish, man. This smelly ass fish. You doing things, man. It's just a fucking animal and it hacks. Always crits me or something. Flinches me, something. So it's my new, I found a new arch enemy already. The fucking dirty fish. But uh, it's all good. Road Runner will protect us. Road Runner will guide us. Uh, Annihilate lead is just insane. Uh, this is the fighting one, right? Yeah. Um, so many ways to go about this. I don't think there's any reason not to Grim Snarl start. Uh, even if he does the whole um, steel thing. If he doesn't do it, then we're actually in phenomenal position. Uh, Volcarona is just amazing versus his team. Uh, screens plus Volk sweeps. I fear Scarf this, but Screen plus Volk just sweeps. So we're gonna go for that. If he goes straight for the steel move, then he'll probably have to switch next turn. And we'll go to Salazar. Trick, huh? Light Clay, Choice Scarf. Very cool, very cool stuff. Which means he can't boost. Uh, I don't want him going to Vo. I mean, I don't want him going to Corviknight. So do I offer Annihilate? Annihilate, Annihilate does shit. Uh, Palafin is not what I expected. Uh, so we get a free bulk up here. Uh, if Corviknight comes in one eye bulk, I can taunt it. <clears throat> but now with the light screen up, Great Tusk. Just is fighting. He doesn't get the attack boost. Um, drain punch here in case he has taunt. Knock off. Interesting. Bulk up again here. And actually, I don't want to bulk up. Rage is going to be 150 after this. If he touches me again, doesn't kill. I needed it too. But I have the turn of light screen, which is what matters most. Um, I could have bulked up further, truth be told. But I thought he had taunt and he'd waste a screen turn. He goes to Goldengo, which won't kill me. And I'll kill it with Rage Fist. I could change my type, but that Dark Fish is coming in to end my life, no matter what. So, um, yeah. I don't want to. I, I know with the screens, we're so insanely bulky. Why not take in? Um, there's so many ways to, to, to batter. But Volk, Volk's good. Court drive, um, he gets the speed boost. 
Since the light screen is still up, we can actually go to Grim Snarl and set them back up because this should be fully special unless he flip turns. Anybody else expected a freeze there? And this allows for us to parting shot again as we described. Palafin. Oh, right, I'm choice scarfed. Right? right that matters, Jam. Uh, bulk up. Interesting. Not really. It's not really that interesting. I just said interesting. I don't know why I said interesting. Jet punch, of course. Uh, there are a couple ways to go about this. Assume drain punches is a go grim snarl and reflect and get road runner going, but the jet punch starts getting annoying after a little bit. Uh, what I'm really looking for is some damage on this. Would Volks the question is would Volks sub break? I'll be careful with this. Would Volk sub break? Because we shed tail, obviously. Jet punches and stops my shed tail. Okay. Pure water. Very, very smart. I didn't think that would stop my. That's a really strong. This is very cool what I'm experiencing right now. I'm not even mad about this. Uh, because it's like, what the fuck is happening, you know? Um. And it's interesting because this is the one case where the so I sack this. Uh, I don't think he's even a jet punch. My Grim Snarls reflect is actually really good. So <clears throat> I figured he wouldn't. Um, I figured he wouldn't jet punch again, anticipating my Dragonite most likely. So I'll go Grim Snarl right. This allows me to actually reflect because I'm scarfed. I might outspeed him depending on his spread. It's not enough. This is becoming a problem. I'm not too scared. A little scared, but I'm not. Primarily because I'm going to use my Terra type here and I need my Terra type fairy. Um. And Dragonite obviously can't take this on, so we're gonna terrestrialize. He's gonna go for the jet punch, obviously, but I'm gonna get the boost back. I mean, I get my health back. It's still gonna hurt. So he was, he's, he's not max HP. So this is gonna do, and I can still flame body him. If I flame body him, that's great. Um, but that does allow me to get weak to, to um, this thing's fire move. So. Wow, the jet punch resisted does way too much. Fuck. Yeah, this is a learning lesson if there ever was one. Do not fucks with this fucking fish. Ah, so this is my first time encountering this. This is very interesting. Water type terrestrializing does more than half. Hmm. So that means you're gonna start having to EV this thing. Then you'd have to give up speed. That already's max HP. I don't think it's worth it. Because he'd have to get really bulked up to even get to this point. Um, I could burn fish. But because the ice bundle is still at full, that won't work. I don't think I can win. The, ter the jet punch did way more than I expected to my Volk. And my Giga Drain didn't do as much as I thought it would. For be stabbed. Um, so we'll sack Salazar, South Salazar, whatever the fuck. Uh, Earthquake's gonna literally miss. So Jet Punch did that much to my. Yeah, I needed like. Uh, yeah, I, I just can't win anymore. I need like a crit or something. Drain Punch. Flip turn. Okay. I don't know why I flip turned. There. I don't know why he flipped her in there. I don't think it'll end up mattering. But um, still don't know why he flipped her in. It might end up mattering. We'll see. 
I don't think Roadrunner can save us this time. I don't think he's going to know what Roadrunner does. So, yeah, I figured he'd go to something like this. The problem is the fucking fish if it's specs. The fish is just so fucking strong, man. Um, that he can go to it and just dismantle me. And because I don't have my terror type fairy, I can't stop it. Yeah, I get two a KO easily. If not just one shot, yeah. Because I'm not terror. So my terror type fairy there would have made me sweep him. Um, but we had to just terror type uh, evolve or whatever it's called just to win, the, just to stay in the game. Now, the upside is that. I was going to say. Maybe we can survive in enough. He won the speed tie. I was going to say, maybe we could take enough to where we don't die to jet punch. If we didn't die to jet punch there. So I, I completely underestimated the, the Palafin. Um, I, didn't I didn't know what to expect from that. The jet punch doing more than half completely thwarted my plans. And Grimstone being slower. So if I got the reflect up before he jet punched, I would have just gone to the Volcarona and Quiver Dance. And uh, I think I could have, I don't remember what else he had. There's a reason I wasn't trying to Quiver Dance. But I, it wouldn't have worked out the way that the Palafin wouldn't have gotten as many kills. So yeah, lesson learned there. Uh, he has a very similar team to mine, somewhat. Not really, he only has two mods, but two significant mods. As, uh, yeah, this is one of them where we're just going to annihilate. Annihilation. Annihilation. Uh, really not sure how he handles your boy Grimmsnarl here. Uh, Great Tusk. You can get your rocks up if you have them. Um, I want to taunt, but I risk way too much if he just straight attacks. <clears throat> Besides, if I get my screens here, my... Uh, what's his face? Yeah. Oh, what's his face? Does goes ham. Uh, we taunt here, and then we go for a parting shot. Mm, should have light screen there. Should have light screen there. Yeah, I was, I see what I'm talking about? Making these silly plays. Should have light screen there. I keep forgetting this thing is in it. Well, I mean, maybe not. Uh, can you just drain punch? What is it? Does he have a ghost type? Should rage fist, but I'll just drain punch. Great Tusk. Don't know why he went back to Great Tusk. This doesn't make any sense. This is a reflect up and a bulk up. I don't get this decision here. Maybe he's trying to. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't get that decision there. Uh, I think he's just not sure what to do. Which means he's like in a fire move lock here. Yeah, I might have swept him. Depending on what he locks into, psychic. Yeah. <clears throat> the great tusk play. I don't get. Now he can't beat this. Now I didn't, I didn't play Annihilate well there. I mean, I didn't play Grimstar well there. I should have screened again, and then Scott the Annihilate in. Um, I keep forgetting Annihilate's for death isn't insane. It is solid and its HP is solid, but it's not groundbreakingly high. So you want to protect it with either the substitute or the uh, light screen. So um, silly decision on my end there. This is a case where Volcarona goes Hamilton, Hamilton. I tell you, uh, these things just annoy me because they could be scarfed. I mean, they could be sashed and just thwart my whole Volcarona plan with a close combat to the dome. I suppose Road Runner is unbeatable here, Loki, and the key isn't even really that low. Um, in the highest of keys, to be fair. Uh, Breloom on lead would be horrendous for us. Uh, it's just Palafin on lead is horrendous as well. Breloom and Palafin are bad for us. Palafin just doesn't make sense though. If you're fearing Shed Tail. But the meta is so new that it's like... Really? Are any, is anybody really fearing Shed 
Um, so I think the if I'm gonna aim to destroy him with either Roadrunner or Volk, um, Dragonite covers decently both. Um, I don't know what this Gengar is gonna do. He led it versus my Grimmsnarl very confidently, so. He has no ground types, ground resist immunity. He has a resist, but no immunity. Um, trick, so that's a dead gar. Choice scarf. So I'm 426. This may end up mattering. Probably not. I guess a little more damage versus the Great Tusk. Looms in. We're not switching. We're breaking any and all sashes. Because I figured you'd spore. And I'm not playing these games with you, young man. Uh. Does this learn Rock to, I mean, does it learn Rock to do, do they use Rock to That's the question. So we have seeds here. Grimmsnarl is dead. Roner is dead. <clears throat> and our lips really good. Um, funnily enough, I just don't see myself. I don't need my Cyclozar, Cyclozar um, doing what Cyclozar does. Not in this game. Um, so it should mock here if he has it. Dinned rock to him. Let's just knock off here. He should do whatever. Yeah, yeah, I figured he'd go for something that's not. So he's not. He's not mock punching. I mean, he had no reason to. I can't shut tail, right? So, but I mean that in the sense that evoke might have already won I've... let's just let's just play as is we're not gonna be impatient here we're just gonna rapid spin here what did we even in knocking off focus ash okay all right so now we get to go for reflect and parting shot into whatever we want if I go if I go and I leap I don't know if I don't know if um Rage Fist gets boosted by each hit. So if Rage Fist gets boosted by each seed, then, you know, my Rage Fist is already insane. Um, and I just Rage Fist through his team. My only qualm, obviously, with Volker Run is that he could have Rock Tomb when he's just not showing it. Because he has another move. I, don't, I just don't know what it is. He's not using it. So I don't... He has no reason to use the Rock Tomb yet, so he could be storing it. Um, alternatively, I could go to the bird, the boy, Roadrunner. Um, I guess Roadrunner with the parting shot up. Which which one is more guaranteed to sweep, Annihilate or Roadrunner? Roadrunner doesn't risk being outsped. So we light screen here. We could try to go like in 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 annihilate on a parting shot, but which would suck. He doesn't do it though. Roadrunner or annihilate. Let's do Roadrunner. I think he's more reliable. And I think because he doesn't know what he's it does, he's gonna stay in. If he asks for annihilate. I'm a psychic type, so you wouldn't go to a fighting type on my uh, a slow fighting type on a psychic bird that you know nothing about. Right, so it's like he's like Roadrunner. What does that mean? He does go straight annihilate. Thankfully, we have this young terror type. Hmm. Store power is gonna be. Cause um, we'll just, uh, cause his rage fist is gonna be doing shit unless he's banded. Taunt. Does he know what this does? How did he just sort of power one forty? Force it. You're dead, dude. There's just no way. There's no way you're surviving this. I mean, still that's the equivalent of if it was a fucking coming off almost five hundred special attack, dr super effective Draco meteor, right? So that's essentially the same thing. Uh, Dazzling Gleam would stab is 120. 
the super effective stored power. Uh, I just like stored power. I think both of them kill. I can see Dazzling not killing, but I don't think. Um, well, I think um, stored power is a stronger anyway. But yeah, because the I was debating if I was thinking if I'm forgetting any counts, but just no, it's just one stab. Stab boost brings it to 120. Stored power is 140. Steel, interesting. That's not good. Steel. I have the reflect up and I have high defense, so I won't die to Rage Fist, but. Oh, he drain punches. Man, this is crazy. He did stall out my reflex, though, which is good, but he also stalled out his own taunt. Wow, this team's going crazy. Okay, we're almost at the 1400s. What an accomplishment. <laughs> It's probably the longest I've ever taken to get to the 1400s. Though, um, what, what we, what we, we only lost one game this time, I suppose, but it feels like I've been playing forever. It's been 45 minutes. Uh, but how are y'all enjoying the, the, uh, the gen, man? Like, it's crazy, man. I have no, it's like, what the hell? This thing turned into a dark type. The last guy turned into a damn um, uh, palafin turned pure water, and that made it. He was crazy. It was already pure water. What the fuck? You know, it's crazy. Uh, but you gotta make mistakes. Hopefully, you guys are out there making a lot of mistakes. Or uh, that wasn't even. I don't even put that in the mistake category. But you know what I'm saying. So cyclists are. We face a choice card for one of these. Same with naturalist. I don't know why people lead this versus uh, what would be expecting to be a Grim Snarl. Um, it could U turn or play rough, both of which. If he play rough, I'm done for. My Volk isn't really that great. So if he does U turn, I get an opportunity to potentially flame body. Don't get it. That did a lot, though. Is that an adamant choice card or is just banned? I don't know. Um, Grimstone obviously is a natural counter to Dragapult. Terra type, Terrestrialized Electric. That means he expected my Grimstone in, and that was his answer. So he already used his Terra Terra type. Um, I'm gonna set up Reflect to my SD. Sprint board. What the fuck, dude? Get me out of here, bro. What the fuck? Break break. And that shit worked. That's what pisses me off the most. Uh, Annihilate looks like it wins. Um, a water type Annihilate, I don't think. No, I gotta get rid of Meow Skarda. It's ability, it's, it's, it's move goes for crits and stuff. And um, Why would I need to terrestrialize into water though? Uh, that's annoying. That brick break was annoying. I can't risk brick break being gone. And he crits me. This fucking goon right here, man. So he has to sucker if he has it. Uh, we'll get Annihilate going. Dragapult. Electric type Dragapult, bro. I swear. Well, actually, I should have went the, 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 the damn dragon here. I, I meant to go to this. Road Runner might have to be our guy. I don't think it can, though, because of the Bishop. Man, I'm having a hard time with this guy's whack team. Like, his whack-ass team is troubling me. And because of the... Wow. Like, his whack team is giving me a very difficult time here. Like, I kind of need to burn the fucking... Meow Skarda. This guy's whack ass team is giving me a hard time. Cause if he goes for the grass move here, yeah, that I have to okay, thankfully he stays in. Flower trick, drain punch, rage fist here in case he goes to Dragapult for some godforsaken reason. Uh goes straight to Gallade, which is good. So that's weakened.
Volk's really good, but I can't get past Claude Zyre. And Volk actually kills his Dragapult now. Do be missing rocks, though. Not gonna lie to you. Uh, and because of his slow bro, my Dragonite can't get anywhere. Dragonite would have been really good. Still is. Uh, you know, it's not over yet. But his weird sets really are giving me a hard time. Moonblast, I've seen these run mixed. Yeah. Speed. What's this spadef on? What's this thing called? Maybe I can win the draw donor. King Jambit. Day that. Spadef is solid. No. No. It's good. Oh, man. Moonblast. Fuck. Could Dragon Dance, Dragonite up. I don't know, the Terra Type Fire, I'm not feeling the Terra Type Fire at all. Just don't know what would be the alternative. Mm. But what I mean is just because it's slow, bro. Because I lost my screens and my parting shotting and all that. I play Grimmsnarl horribly, though. Though the Brick Break, I mean, how could I predict a Brick Break? So, I don't really regret anything, man. So, we're going to go with Dragonite first. And I'm going to Earthquake. I know I shouldn't be giving up this thing's multi-scale. But my alternative is to go Roadrunner and take a Moonblast from this thing. And I'm not killing it back. I doubt my my fairy move that killed it. My little Dazzling Gleam. And so here are you at Draco Meteors. Yes, to Draco. Respect. I haven't terrestrialized yet. Uh, okay, how do I win this? Okay. Extreme speed for some damage. Should Draco here. Thunderbolted. Um, I don't know why he Thunderbolted. Okay. Well, this gives us a Shed Tail. There may be hope. Uh, I don't know why he did that just now. So Roadrunner. Annihilate would kill this. And... Uh, let's Roadrunner. I think Roadrunner is going to get some boosts here. Oh, fuck. It's damn. God damn it. No. No. I forgot about Infiltrator. Oh, man. No, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. Ah, uh, we needed that. We needed that. Okay. Fuck, this guy's damn Specs Dragapult really did a number on us. Insane. Yeah, because this is just going to hurt because he's um, choke. I guess he may choke and switch. I don't know why he do that. but um, Let's say he doesn't. I guess we can hope that. We'll Rage Fist. I mean... What's the best case? He subs? No. I mean, he. Yeah. That Thunderbolt did nothing, actually. So it actually would have been better to go to in early, in, in, um, Annihilate first. I forgot about the damn. Because we'd still be behind a sub right now. And he'd be dead. Yeah, like if I went Annihilate first. This did. Um, Flower Trick did how much? It did enough, fuck. And my, I'm just not bulky enough for Pokemon to live this, to live two of these. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm just not bulky enough of a Pokemon. Man. If we live, if it was a roll, then we, uh, yeah, that was a, that was an interesting one. Um, that's an interesting one. The fucking Dragapult really messed me up. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, Among Us. What is about to happen, bros? This reminds me so much of the, like learning Z moves for the first time, where you're like, you don't know what the hell was, because I took a while to. And then you could start like predicting Z moves, because again, you you want to. Uh, the point is to hit the to observe the matchup cycles, the matchup sequences, and see okay, what happens when this is versus this? How much does this, this do? What does this tend to do? Da, 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 da. Um, and because we don't have that knowledge, we just gotta get it. And the only way to get it is to play a fuck ton of games until I do. So. Mm. Mm, Grimson seems right here. I guess if he galades, I can just. Uh, Party shot on the Gallade. Unless this learns flip turn. Or reflect here, Among Us. Unless this has something that I'm not aware of. I taunt Sludge Bomb. It does have Sludge Bomb, oh, shit. Light screen. Yeah. Party shot into um, Salica. 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 Nesis. Um. Does Roadrunner sweep? Roadrunner does not sweep. Roadrunner kind of sweeps. A little bit. A little bit. Sweeps a little bit. Sweeps a little bit. It takes some work, though. Uh, T-Tar coming in here would be very smart. Oh, that boy's smart. Not really. Not really. That's predictable, but... Uh, there's no way I was hard switching there. Actually, I could have hard switched there. There's no reason not to. I wanted to get the switch in and this actually truth be told hard switching there would have been better I wouldn't have gotten this pedestrian special attack drop on the Among Us but Among Us is such a weak mind that Cyclozar would have been good um, so we get our first rage boost boost now we go for the bulk up uh, don't know what this is looking to do or he's a sludge bomb spam. Or he's just wasting a reflect turn. I gotta be mindful. Oh my fucking Christ, bro. That's annoying as shit. I could terrestrialize and kill this shit. If I drain punch, what is he gonna do? Fuck you all. Give me this. Give me this, man. He dark pulsed, interestingly enough. Thought he would, um... Thought he would, uh, what's the call for sure? Ain't no way you're killing me, dude. There's just no way. Drain punch, rage fist, gone, 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 out of my sight. This one is a team still can win. No, they can't. A palafin. Oh man, not the fin. Not the fin. Yeah, you can still win if he plays well. I need Dragapult a bit more weakened. Because this shit is so fast. Let's see if Cyclozar takes two jet punches. Yeah, it does. I needed it too. I needed a scout for that. So that means I'll be able to get a... Um, he used this thing already, right? He used it to ferry. Alright, so I can U turn. He's just gonna jet punch again. I U turn into D Knight. I Earthquake. Hard. I earthquake hard. I go Volcarona and Bug Buzz hard. I've seen this Dragapult, so the physical Dragapult would be an issue. Let's contemplate a Dragon Dancing Dragapult. 
if that's the case, then I can't. And it's Infiltrator too. Yeah, I actually didn't consider the Dragapult enough, truth be told. Um, hmm. One Dragon Dance and that Dragapult defeats me. I'm pretty weak to Dragapult um, in general, but Grimmsnarl, the point of it, this team is to beat them before they beat us. So uh, that's on me. So if I sent Grimmsnarl, come back to this. I won't have enough help to shut tail. Shut tail. So I go Dragon Knight. If I D dance, yeah, it's gonna be a prediction, man. Cause if he goes hard Tyranitar here, I die. Cause I don't have. He can just Stone Edge me. Hmm. Yeah, I figured he'd hard T-Tar. Oh, because I have to attack him. I gotta hope he misses the edge. Yeah, he missed. Yes. Doesn't mean I win, though. Far from it, in fact. If it's a physical pull, if it's special, then I have a pretty good shot. But if it's physical, then. Um, there's no hope. There is, if I DD again here. But who has the balls to do that? If I DD again and he's not physical, I'm done for. Yeah. No human DDs again there. So now I go to this. And I... It's funny because if I lose Cyclozar, that Palafin can still run up on me. Um... I should have went Grimmsnarl first. I don't know why the fuck I... That was stupid as fuck just now. I might not. I might, I might not. I'm thinking he's going to Phantom. Okay, it worked. Okay. I look like the GOAT. <laughs> so I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to catch him on the Phantom Force. But that was actually really dumb. Uh, I should have went Grimmsnarl first and, and reflected. Uh, maybe not, though, because he has Infiltrator. You dragon dance on the turn, I can, mm, that's that's ballsy though. Know? You dragon dance there, I don't know you dragon dance in there. You know what I'm so obviously he has to uh, jet punch lock. I think he's banded. If he's not banded, what's my play here? To shed tail into Volcarona. If he is, if he's not banded and he bulks up as I go to Grim Snarl. I should still not be able to stop me from going for Shed Tail though. It shouldn't stop me from going for Shed Tail. Yeah, I played this end game. Again, we gotta learn these calcs and what. Oh my goodness! You pesky bastard. Is it better to U turn that? Well, I didn't think you'd do enough to put, stop me. That must have been a, a huge roll. Um. So let's see, Jet Punch probably shouldn't to it. I mean, Roadrunner's max defense, yeah. Uh, we get some damage with this Dazzling Gleam, I guess. 45%. We can roost speed boost, as if that matters. Um, Jet Punch has homage PP, that's a lot. Yeah, there's no, um, I guess I'm doing it so I can have a little slightly stronger stored power, I guess. I'm outside of crit range anyway, so as long as I'm above 75, I can have a slightly stronger stored power. Um, 44, 100. Yeah, I'm well outside of crit range, though I'm wasting my roost. Now I can get two base 120 stored powers off. Yeah, and now I kill him. No, actually, that, that sequence wasn't um, wasn't a bad idea. And I'm playing with crits, but because I had the Cyclozar, really what I needed to do there was, all I needed to do was get the fucking damage off once it was a base 100 move and um, go for Shed Tail. My only qualm with that is if he crit the Cyclozar, Cyclozar then, 
then I lose because the I can't shed tail to protect Volcarona from the, the jet punch and he just kill it. So that was the whole point of, of doing that. I wanted to, um, if I could beat it with the bird, but he could also crit the bird. He need two crits. He need to crit the bird and he need to crit Cyclozar. And uh, we're still in the motherfucking third tail. <laughs> this is, yo, this is great. This is great. Obviously, as we had that, we're gonna soar to the top. But this is hilarious. I'm gonna have to stream and like use all your teams and just experience it all, man. So drop your teams on the in the, the description down below. And not the description. The yeah, the there's a link to my Smogon profile and uh, it's down below, so you'll be able to to, to drop your squads. What do you have for a well played annihilate? Or a well played um, roadrunner? Not a damn thing. No, I don't want to deal with his annihilate or his. Um, yeah, well, actually, his dog thing is a bitch. Don't want to deal with that. Claude Zyre is not what I expected. He might just get swept turn one if he's not careful. Yeah, if he's not careful. I'm gonna bulk up. Let's see what his initial play is. There are a couple, cause I could rage, I could rage fist here, but it's only base 50 right now, so he technically could go into his own, but he goes into the the beast, the beast of ruin. Um, again, because I know this thing can max, max can turn into a fire type. Um, the dart moves is usually what they go for. Okay. Yeah, that's why I was like, if he's not careful, he could get swept right here. But like, how can he predict that? That's the shit about this this fucking meta game. Like, how can he predict that? Like, I faced one that turned steel. Like, you can't predict this. So you you, I mean, it ramped up the element that's out of your control even more. How do you predict this shit? Nothing he could have done would have saved him here. Um, now this shit can really hurt me. I don't think to kill this is worth giving up my annihilate because I can't drain punch kill it. I can rage fist kill it, and then he would. Um, depending on how much he does to me, he might not. Hmm. This thing has if it has the iron, the iron fist, and the pouch and all of that. It is quite frill though. It is quite frill. Mm -hmm. Nah, with with screens and eyelid wins, like it was just reawakening an eyelid. Uh, so that said, who comes in to eat this cycle that I Fake out. What the fuck? Uh, let's shed tail here. Let's shed tail. Let's shed this tail real quick. Uh, let's just the tail real quick. Uh, we could vault, but no, vault's not sweeping either way. Uh, I'd much rather Grimm's now. We can party and shine and set up screens. So CC's. That's fine. We're setting up for the next beast on the way. Double shock. What the fuck was that just now? Is that like burnout? Yeah, because he just lost his electric typing. So I guess that was a burnout. Um, equivalent burnout is a fire time move that like I, I don't know if anybody gets it but oh, oh, oh. I think Zara get um, maybe every fire type gets it but um, yeah this is excellent because this gives annihilate uh, what it was hoping for especially if it attacks me here is annihilate the one I want to go to I could go to well I already um, oh this boy smart I don't think he expected that truth to tell me. I think he just went to annihilate, but it worked out. Um, oh, this is a problem. Because it's such a bulky mod, right? So, um, his Rage Fist isn't that strong yet. But it would be if I attack him. I just don't know how much he's going to do now. I don't know what type of, of Annihilate he is.
So I want a quiver dance first. I mean, I have the reflect, but he has plus three. But again, Rage Fist is only base 50. So I don't think it should kill, especially if he's the bulky variant. If he's not the bulky variant, then I'll die. If I fire blast and he is the bulky variant, I'll have a really hard time with it afterwards. But a quiver dance is a bit risky. Oh, it's just missed out on the K. I need to hit this. I need you to hit this Volk. Okay, we scared it out. We'll take those. I don't want to fucking... Um... He should heal here. He should heal. If he rocks, so be it. He does. Thought he would heal. I think healing would have been a better play there. But this works out. Um, because if I had stayed in there, the only way he could win is if he sucker punched with uh, CM Pao. Well, I guess one of these could be a terror type that could save him. Uh, but I still have my Volk around to Fire Blast. I don't think rocks really matter, so that's why I was like, I don't think he's gonna, he's gonna, I think he's gonna heal. But um, we need our screens back, so that's why I went Grim Snarl there instead of. Uh, so I'm like, okay, my reflex is going to wear off. My Annihilate is hungry in the back waiting for a meal. Oh, no, you're not recovering, kid. So we get both screens back because I don't know why he thought he was going to recover there. I don't even know what the item is on this thing. Like, why would you not have leftovers? What's the alternative? Um, though I've seen a lot of unaware Claude's Dire over Water Absorb, so... So actually, this is best case scenario because now I get to stop whatever kind of shit you are, and I have knockoff. I mean, and I have rage fist did twenty two percent through reflect, and I haven't touched him yet. That shit is banded. There's just no way. So that would have been doing forty four percent. I've been doing forty eight percent to me. Yeah, that shit is banded. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about, which is great for us because we get to shed tail for free. There's no way. Like 50 base power. <clears throat> he stayed in though. What's the fuck's going on? Did he just expect me to switch? Which, I mean, it's not. It's groundbreaking, right? Uh, we're gonna go to ours. I want his gone. Substitute. Very interesting. Who's this faster? I have reflect up though. That shit isn't banded? What's this thing attacks that? I actually don't know anything about Annihilate. Turns out it's a, oh, I'm faster. Okay, bless. Bless. Yeah, you're gonna get eviscerated. Cause I've been getting um, Rage Fist boost all game. Yeah. And then you just gave me another. I think he gets a boost when you sub. It's as if it matters. Uh, there's no way to roll this 40 to damn. Rocky helmet. I see. So that's 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 the path. Actually, why would I not just taunt here and bulk up on your face? He probably gonna go to bond out. That's risky. That's risky. If I attack the pond out, he loses. Does he want to have anything else to touch this? He does go. It's hard to it. It's obvious as fuck. He literally lost there. He didn't need to make this play, but I guess he was like, well, I'm afraid he bulk, bulk up too much. Um, which makes sense. Yeah. And cycle is there. And then I... I guess D Knight could win now. Close combat. I guess maybe a fighting move next. I'm just afraid of that electric shit he did. And how much it will do to me. Double shock. Let me see if that's a punching move. 120. Mm. Lose 
loses his electric typing though. Nah, it's not worth it. This is too problematic for me. Double shock. Huh, I get to keep my uh, rapid speed here. It's not like U turn matters. If I spin, what, what the fuck? I get to sack this. Get a reflect up and go to Dragon Knight. What does he do after that? Mock Punch. This shit gets Mock Punch. Oh, that's not good. Now I know his moveset. You can't even do shit to Dragon Knight. Well, the same uh, outcome was achieved, I suppose. This has really low defenses, I believe. I would have uh, liked to have had defense a defense boost, but uh, I'll just EQ here. Unless Gyarados has something in store for me, which very well could, very well could. But I've, uh, which is why I'm very like keeping what's his face tucked in the back. Uh, if this thing lives, it's not the end of the world. But it'd be nice if it didn't. Ice shard, sash. What the fuck? Luckily, I have the ESP tucked. I got the ESP tucked. I've been playing too long, guys. It's gonna be our last game. <laughs> but again, at this point, I'm just gathering data um, until my I've gotten comfortable enough with most things that I can go okay, boom, 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 boom. But it's very hard for me to predict and um, gauge or and anticipate. Anticipate. Predict is not the correct word. Anticipate. Pokemon's a game of assumption. I knew he turned into something. I just didn't know what. Yeah. I have the gear in the back. The gear in the back. I have the uh, earthquake would have killed him, but I don't want to risk um, citrus. The one citrus motherfucking gear that was in the game. I'm reflecting first. Don't trust these niggas. But I could. I could. Uh, what's his face? And there's no way he can touch my now. Uh, taunt and then gotta be careful of the pine thing, I guess. Not really. Just taunt here. Uh, as I said, I sh there's no way he's getting past that way. Um, I guess he could hacks me. The waterfall. No way he has power whip. That's, that's not a thing. That's not okay. And now I reflect. And he has to give up his electric type. And if he gives up the electric type to dual shock, then my bird just goes Burdington. 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 Okay, smart to go annihilate first because he knows if he gives up that. In case it's a speed tie, right? I doubt we both have 442 speed. I doubt that's the speed tie. We'll never know. I could have won too, but uh, now it should be Gucci because I'm rage fisted up. That sounded really, really freaky. I'm rage fisted up. Pause. But uh, yeah, there's just yeah, it's smart to CC. You don't want to um, fucking focus, Ash. I have one more turn to reflect, which is good. Just the amount I needed. Just the perfect amount I needed. And now I can go for that young dazzling gleam. Double shot missed. Would have done 50 without reflex, so the boy was eating it up. I figured as much, but you know, you never you never you're never sure with these things. So whew, an hour and twenty minutes for your enjoyment today guys i hope you all enjoyed i've been playing since like 10 it's two something i've been playing four hours straight just just getting a grip of all of this shout outs to maps for the team i know i didn't do it justice but yeah i got i need to learn the meta game first um these guys are wild out here but he's um he managed to use the team and get to that thing he's like top 20 maybe even top 10 by now so uh, it's a solid team once you know how to use it 
uh, once you learn the meta game. So it's going to be in the description down below as usual. Hit the like button if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next episode tomorrow.